coming up in this episode of Noms. Find out what drink I lived off in college. I get stupid sports fortunes. All that and more in this jonesing episode of the Noms podcast. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Noms podcast, the podcast about food. I am KT Data and joining me as always and a little bit later in the night is the one and only and still lovely Cousin Jane. How are you doing today, Cousin Jane? Great! Yay! So if you guys have never seen this podcast before, what Cousin Jane and I go out and do is find yummy foods and we bring it back and we talk about it. Today, eat it. we're going to be a little more bubbly like our previous episode, but this time we're focusing on one guy, Jones, and all his sodas. Soda. <laughs> there so soda yeah before we go into that cousin i haven't seen mm-hmm. you in, well I, yeah i really haven't seen you in about two weeks um first yeah. of all let me apologize to you and anybody who's watching live we are recording a little bit later because mm-hmm. my internet service provider i'm not going to name you but it's one of the largest ones in the u.s decided to crap out in all of salt lake that's so, a pretty big city to crap out yeah. so um so apologize to you and cousin but what have you been up to as a late cousin um, oh gosh, I never know what to say in this area. <laughs> um, working, it's been ridiculously busy. One of my coworkers went to Hawaii, Whoa. so the service department was down to two people as opposed to three people, which is already way too low for a service department for a dealership. So, so when do they when do they send you to Hawaii? I know, right? So, they, I deserve only fair. a trip for Hawaii. <laughs> right. I know it was his like honeymoon and all, but I deserve a you trip had, to Hawaii. Well, yeah, <laughs> you can go on a second honeymoon, right? Yeah, I'll go on a second honeymoon. I don't think Jesse'd mind. Yeah, I can go by myself. <laughs> we don't. We don't even have to pay for him to go. It'll just be just, me. Just you, and then you'll just send him <laughs> selfies I'll be like, on the beach. Happy second honeymoon. <laughs> we we can we can Photoshop him after. Yeah. Uh, oh, I don't know. Is it? It's getting cold over there. Didn't it snow in Texas? Oh yes. Oh my gosh, it did snow. And it you, is freezing. It is literally below freezing every night now. Oh no, the sky is falling for you guys. And it's November. What is it? November. The, what is uh, today? The eighteenth. The eighteenth. Yeah. It doesn't. It's not supposed to get cold until like December twenty fifth. Literally, that's usually how it goes. It is the weirdest thing. I don't know. So, yeah, it's it's weird. You got you were like, oh my god, snow. I'm like, it's snow, yeah. cousin. It's snow here in Utah. No, we get lots Texas. Of it. <laughs> we Texas get lots does of it. not get snow this early. <laughs> it's so weird. Like I thought it was ash falling from the sky. It was so weird looking. Yeah, it's like 29 degrees right now over here, and I'm still in shorts. Uh, I don't even know what it is here. <laughs> I honestly have no idea. I don't know, but oh, and I got a new phone. Oh, did you get the six plus the six. or did you get the six? Just the six. Uh, you, you, it took them um, almost a full month. You gotta, to uh, you gotta screen. upgrade to the larger size screen right there. It know? is a larger size screen. Well, this is larger than that. This is larger than what I used to have. Look at that. So yeah, so this. They're twins. This right here is the first generation iPhone. Right here. I don't have that one. This <laughs> is the phone I use now. What is that? <laughs> this is the one plus one right here. And it's like you can see the one plus one. Yeah. I've never even heard of it. It's a Chinese made phone on there. And it's actually the specs are on par with some of the newer top of the line phones out there. But it's only three hundred and fifty dollars, which I like. Oh, mine was only two hundred ninety nine. That was upgraded. Yeah. So but it's like sixty four gigs, three gigs of RAM, nice fast processor and everything. Nice. Oh, that's so. That's why I like it. I like that phone, but I don't know. So yeah. Um, for me, I went to go see Interstellar. I, you saw. You I gotta, saw it too. You gotta go see it. Was it not amazing? I loved it. My uh, family was a little confused too because they didn't understand the uh, relatively, that- relatively, relativity differences between time, di- time, really? and space, and planets and stuff. They're like, I don't understand. I'm like, it's physics. They're like, how did he age and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and they're like. I'm not going to go too far but, into it. But it was a good movie. You know, it's long, but it, I didn't feel like it was three hours. I loved no, it. like usually movies that are usually even just 
any regular feature length movie, I have to go to the bathroom somewhere in the middle of the film. This movie, I was totally fine. Like I was just sitting there watching the movie the whole time and I didn't have to go to the bathroom and it's a three hour long movie. Yeah. So so you're that probably- person that I always see, you know, like get the s- silhouette in the theater and just. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's, that's me. So do you like purposely try to sit on an aisle or up front? No, uh, like, Jesse always wants to sit in the middle, so we always so, sit in the middle. So you're the person that's climbing over people, too. Yeah, that's the part <laughs> I don't like. But I, I try to not be that person. I I do as much as I can before the movie to not be that person. But it doesn't Did work. you know there is a website out that... Oh. What? No, what? keep going, keep going. Okay, I, I'm going to find it. There is a website out, and it tells you when is a good time to go to the bathroom during a movie. It is Uh-oh. m.runp.com. <laughs> Find out when's the best time during a movie to oh, run that's and pee. Awesome. That Isn't is, that amazing? That is awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Yes, D Max, I ruined Interstellar for you because I told you the movie involves physics. <laughs> yes, it it it's involves done. space. Done. I just ruined and it and physics. The guy from all those Lincoln commercials. Space and, <laughs> and the, that and, Lincoln guy and Matthew McConaughey. McCona- McConaughey. Yeah, okay. that's how you say. It. Yeah, I can say his name. No. <laughs> he's the one from all the Lincoln commercials. I know yeah. this because I work for Lincoln. <laughs> so you see him all the time. I do. He's uh, there are, all the time. Are you BFFs? We are not BFFs. I, I we th- actually hate each other. I, I was just gonna say, if you're BFFs, you should tell them to check out the show. But I guess not. Yeah. Yeah, Matthew McConaughey. I know we hate each other, but <laughs> you, should, you should definitely yeah. check out the show. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought you might even be on like a short name basis. So you're like, hey, Matt, while everybody else is like Mr. McConaughey. I call him Eminem. Oh, and he calls me Jane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, yeah, and I saw Big Hero Six, which is another good one, guys. What is that? Fist bump, guys. Fist bump. Big Hero Six. Oh, big. Hero 6. Yeah. Big Hero 6 is an awesome okay. movie. That's a fun one. I literally don't know anything about that film. It, it's a Disney movie, and the, the title actually comes from a Marvel property, but it's nothing like the comic book at all. Um, and they hmm. kind of created their own world and stuff, and it, it was it's a fun Disney movie. It's not even a Pixar movie, and it's pretty fun. Um, it reminded me a lot of kind of like the Incredibles type of feel to it, so it was cool. I highly suggest you guys both go watch Big Hero 6 and Interstellar. I've already seen Interstellar. Oh, you can go watch it again. I will not watch it. <laughs> All right. So, but in the terms of the world of food, I forgot to show this in our last episode, but I got my can of Surge. Yes. And Surge. So the funny thing is the the 14 pack of Surge is so heavy. Amazon Prime cannot ship it normal shipping. They had to That's ground ship stinks. it. So, <laughs> so it actually took a week to get this, even with Amazon Prime. Aw. <laughs> But, but it was, it was worth free, it. right? It was free worth shipping. It. Yeah, it was free shipping. It was wor- it was worth it. I love Surge. I'm actually almost out of it again. Um, <laughs> and Does it taste like Mountain Dew? No, it has its own. It's more citrusy and has lots more caffeine in it. On there, huh. um, I would say think if you combine Vault and Mountain Dew and then made it even stronger. That's sort of what it's like, but there's not a taste like that. When I was a little kid, I used to love Surge. I didn't know how much caffeine in it had. <laughs> But I was like, I, you know, it tastes awesome. And when they got rid of it, I'm like, oh, so I had to buy a case when they, they got it back. That's kind of like I, me with those little Bacchus energy <laughs> drinks that I would drink like yes. it was medicine. Yes, I'm, but I'm pretty sure there's more caffeine. In those we were juice. caffeinated little Asians growing up. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, y- yes, D-Max. I, uh, D-Max is like, I live in Utah. Am I allowed caffeine? I am. I'm afraid to go down to Provo, Utah, though, where it's, you know, a lot more heavily mormon down there and that's where byu and everything is I'm that's like, why you have a flask yeah pe- people are always caffeine. like why didn't you go to school to byu because and i told them because they could they you know if i went down there they'd probably know i drank caffeine and be like oh. <laughs> i'd be shot because i was a caffeine drinker <laughs> um but then the other thing i actually bought this just for you cousin and i gotta mm-hmm. figure out a way to send this to you without these drying up okay on there or something on there but I actually have a box of pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. Because you said you've Ooh. never seen these things. But these are pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. 
I have seen pumpkin white chocolate chip. I've never seen pumpkin chocolate chip before. White chocolate chip. That's weird. Yeah, like it's actually like the the kinds that you the break and, or the break and bake ones. Ew. But you have to actually do it. Yeah, I've never no, seen them fully made these, like these that. These are fully made, and it's still weird to me. But in Utah, these are available all year round. Like, do y'all have pumpkins all year round? I, they find pumpkins from somewhere on there, but these are always available all year round. Um, huh. On there, I keep yawning. I, 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 I don't know if anybody so has like, suggestions on how to send cookies <laughs> in the mail. Um, <laughs> Google it. Because I, I actually just googled it, and it was wrap everything. Um, you wrap everything in their own. So, like each cookie, you would wrap. Uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Because they're kind of soft. That's the thing. They're they're not like hard cookies. They're soft cookies. Because yeah. it's more like a banana bread than um that. And you know, I I, I want to send you a, a box of these so you can try them on there. Maybe and you I, can ask your grocer. I don't. I don't think I can st- st- like slap a stamp on this. And send what it. what what grocery store is it? This is a local grocery store in Utah called Harmon's, and they actually. I wonder if I can find the commercial. They're, they're, see see if they can send it to they're, me. They're they're called the grocer in your neighborhood. Just give them give them my address and be like, can you have this shipped to? The grocery store in Texas that for some reason has a PO a box. <laughs> and then they'll be like, oh, yeah, the grocer in Texas. I don't remember. I, 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 it, but I, I, we'll I, definitely send them the cookies and have them do it. I, I somehow don't think that's, a, <laughs> that's how it, could it works. Work. It could work. Let's see. Uh, when's, I, I'm trying to find a jingle. They had a, they have a jingle on there. Um, and it's like, Harmon's is the grocer in your neighborhood. In your neighborhood. That sounds in your amazing. neighborhood. <laughs> Something like that. That sounds like um, Handlebars by Flowbots. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it does. <laughs> However, you sang it, sound exactly oh, this is, this like is, Handlebars this, by Flowbots. This ad was definitely older than that. And I can't find an ad for it. Oh, sad. I'll, I'll have to like copy it or something for you so you can see it. But Okay. Or maybe this is it. I think we should drink our soda. Mile to deliver okay. healthy food from trusted growers. And Are they going to do the jingle? It's made from scratch. For us, being different is better than being normal. And we're not normal. So that's we're Bob and Randy Harmon. I thought they said uh, being different is better than being Mormon. <laughs> but apparently they said normal. <laughs> what? Oh, that's funny. Um, yeah, they don't have the jingle. That's sad. You can find it for next episode. Yeah, I'll have to find it, but I, I, I always thought those that, that was a catchy jingle. Anyways. Ooh. Um, shall we go into our our special today is Joan Soda? Joan Soda. Okay. So we decided to have we it's tabs for teas. I can do tabs. Tabs on there. Okay, yeah. So yeah, we 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 decided to do Joan Soda on there. Um and then so we have Six different flavors. Two of them, cousin and I actually have, which is the green apple, right, mm-hmm. and the um, cream soda on there. Which one's in a can? Yeah, and then I have uh, fufu berry. Fufu berry. Fufu. Who doesn't love to say fufu berry? And uh, peanut butter and jelly soda. And there. I have berry lemonade and strawberry lime on there, and. The one thing that about Joan Soda that I think a lot of people notice though is the labels on there. Because didn't you collect um, the the bottles for a I while? I used to collect. Yes, I collected bottles growing up. It was the bo- the pictures. You can actually submit your own pictures, and they can choose to put them. They actually say right here, right here. It said mine says Alicia De Paso, photo number. One million three hundred forty nine thousand six hundred seventy two from Dublin, Ohio. Dublin, and Ohio. Huh? I guess those dandelion things that you blow and all the pollen goes flying everywhere. <laughs> On there, let's see. I am trying to find an interesting one. Okay, so this is one of the flavors that we're actually not going to try tonight because I didn't know you didn't like root beer. I don't. Like <laughs> root beer. But look on the root beer bottle, guys, and you, you see this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's just like this. Picture of this creepy old guy on it. I'm like, <laughs> I love him. What? <laughs> He's what? <awesome. laughs> 
the, the cans the cans have the same pictures on them like i i got this this cream soda um before and they all had this dog on them dog school though that's that's you cool. keep disappearing and yeah. it's scaring me because I, well i had to put the soda down or i was gonna drink it um okay on the, oh on the floor <laughs> yeah on the floor because i don't have that's a right. lot of room in my desk on there um all right so which one should we try first before we kind of go into a little bit of history behind jones uh, mm -hmm. let's do the green apple all right the green apple so my picture is of a flying skateboard on there um, mine is girl with i guess bear or fox ears oh she's wearing one of those uh um things that have the arm things on the side too yeah i guess so it's from new york yeah, mine's from New York. Mine's from Seattle, Washington, which is actually pretty close to um, where the Jones office is, is, is mm. if I remember correctly. Fancy. Um, um, there. Okay, so let's open That's this. Connection. Let's see if I can get some good uh, Foley work on this. <clears throat> that <one's... laughs> is that going to be used in the next motion picture on there? And then I love how the caps also have uh, fortunes on them. Mine is, you will succeed in competitive sports. <laughs> <laughs> Mine says, you will soon find something lost long ago. Ooh. Hmm. What have you lost long ago? Well, once I accidentally left one of my, like a backpack, a pink backpack I had, I got for my birthday and it was full of money, like all my birthday money. And I left it sitting out and some kid took it. Oh, that's kind Maybe I'll get that You're going to get it back. All right. So cheers, Maybe. cousin. And she has his green apple sodi. Mm. This is actually my favorite flavor. I love it, and it, it, that it's sour. I, I love that green apple taste. I wonder if I, oh nope, I ate all the Milky Ways. Yeah, <laughs> I ate all the Milky Ways too. I used to have them. Oh I, wait, I have one. I, I have a bag of wrappers. <laughs> oh, there. Here's and, one. And I, I, I love I this. I love this. Like, I know it's not real green apple taste, but I love the taste of that. And it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's one of my favorite things because I used green to love the suckers flavor. too. Oh, yeah. The caramel apples. Yeah. Those are always great on there. So, uh, to, to kind of give you guys a little bit of background of Joan Soda, they actually started off as the Urban Juice and Soda Company. <laughs> and what they did was distribute drinks to all of Western Canada. So, not even Canulia. in the US, Canada. Um, and then. <laughs> In 1995 was actually when they started making their own sodas. They were still distributing things. So they were like, I think they distributed Arizona tea and things like that to Canada. Really? Um, yeah. And then oh. they, they started making their own product in, in 1995 and they called it Jones. I tried mm -hmm. my hardest, but I could not find anywhere <laughs> where, the, where they could tell me why they started, called it Jones. <laughs> Did you see who... Was the creator? Yeah, the, the, the creators are. Let's see. Where's the creators on here? Um, Maybe no Jones and for a soda. Yeah. I think that's where they got it from. Because pretty much the the founder was Peter Van Stolk, and photographer Victor John Penner. So n nowhere close to being Jones. Huh. At, at all. On there, so I'm. Uh, I, I, I. It's still a mystery for me. So I'm guessing maybe it's from Jones, but I have been never been able to find it. Um, hmm. And then in 2000, they actually officially changed their name to Jones Soda Company because I think it was 85% of their sales was from the Jones Soda brand and in, instead of, you know, distributing things there. And they actually oh. moved from uh, Canada all the way over to the U.S. in Seattle, if I remember correctly. Hmm. Um, so, that, that I mean, that's why they had a Canadian roots, but now they are in Seattle. Canoodlian? Canoodlians on there. Um, Canoodlians on there. So that's kind of a, a interesting kind of thing. So should we try our second one before I pour everybody with facts about Jones? Yeah. So let's do yes, the, the, we should. the creme soda. Creme de la creme soda. Yeah. I was always afraid of cream soda when I first tried it. Really? Yeah. Did so you think it had milk in it? I thought it was like some weird Italian crap that I was like, eh. So mine's from there is Italian soda and that's really good. Yeah, mine's from El Segundo, California, and it's a mine is mine is from Canada. Canada. Co Coquiltum, Coquiltum, British Columbia. Co Coquilt, Coquitlam, Coquit, Coquilt. I don't know. I'm just gonna. Yeah. 
Okay, okay so my, re- my reputation for being honest will bring rewards. I have no fortune. <laughs> it's right. a can. <laughs> Maybe it's on the bottom. I should just turn it over. No, when you drink all of it, it's on the bottom. Oh. You have to peek through. Maybe I... Okay, this okay. is the first flavor I ever tried of Jones Soda. Really? This is, this and is, it tastes exactly the same. This is the one that broke your virgin, virginity for um, yes, soda? Yes, by Jones, Jones Virginity. Yeah, Jones Virginity. Okay. Here you go. So, mm. is, your, is your cream soda like dry too? It really doesn't just hang around in your mouth? That's one you mean thing. Crisp? But, well, not crisp, just dry. It doesn't feel wet, you know? Mine, what, does, mine does. Has like, yours been sitting out? No. But I mean, like, it doesn't hang around your tongue. When you finish drinking, it's just gone. You know, it doesn't leave that yeah. like, sticky aftertaste. Yeah, because it. it's, um, it's, is it the cane, the sugar, the um, sugar, cane yeah. sugar? Yeah, so what's funny is in 2006, I thought it would have been earlier than that. That's when they actually switched from high fructose corn syrup to pure cane sugar. Now everybody in 2006. Switched. Yeah. Wow. So it's only that's when I first had my. That's when I had my first Jones soda. What? That is because I'm like this is awesome, and they had just changed it. Yeah. To pure cane sugar. So yeah, you you, you didn't get the old stuff. I, I wonder how the old stuff compares to the new stuff now. I um, probably tastes like Coke. <laughs> On there, yeah. And what's even more interesting about Jones is instead of like trying to sell to those big retailers like your Walmarts and your Targets and stuff, they actually started selling direct to small shops. And I think Mm -hmm. they eventually got a little bit bigger when they got um, Starbucks to start selling Jones soda for a while. I don't think they do it anymore. When I first started, they were selling Jones soda and then they switched to Izzy. Yeah, so they they got bigger ones. Now they're in Target and and things like that. Um, And I think you can even get them in Walmart now. We there. have them um, at Kroger. Um, I bought my first one is bought from World Market, and World Market stopped selling them because now they have their. Because Texas is Texas makes a lot of soda uh-huh. in Dublin, Dublin, Texas. They make a lot of like soda, soda shop sodas, or what did they call them? Soda. I don't remember what they called the people that worked at the soda shops. Anyway, they they had like all these flavored kind of like these. Um, Devlin just has a lot of soda flavors, so World Market stopped selling Jones and started selling all of those, mm-hmm. which I was in for a shock when I had to go and buy yeah. Jones soda. So, so you want to see what's crazy? Um, hmm. Right here, I'm soda showing jerk. Up, well, That's what they call them, soda jerks. What 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 I'm showing you on screen right now is yes, the are. product locator map in Utah for Jones soda. I had to use that to find my Jones soda. Yeah. Yes. Was yours this densely packed? Yes, it was. <laughs> it's it's kind of crazy. Like almost every store I know in Utah has them, and they sell them singly or bark. So you can see Harmon's there, Smith's has them, um, Reams has them, Dan's Market. Um, I have a lot of really weird name stores on there. So that's why mine I, was mainly all Kroger's. I, I, that's why I thought it was kind of interesting. I'm like, whoa, every you know, there's so many areas on there, and sometimes I have hard time finding things in Utah. Um, yeah for that so um on there and then you know what's even more interesting you can actually make your own label um from jones on that did you know that like submit your own picture well so like you, for weddings and you, stuff you can submit your own picture but you also can buy a 12 pack or a six pack of, of your yeah, own yeah that's and have right cust- i remember it custom. Oh, it's not cheap that. but you can on there um kind of uh, like how m&ms you can put your picture on m&ms yeah. I'm I'm tempted to like get one of these make ktdata.net Jones awesome. on, on there and then we all could have ktdata.net ones but it's like thirty two bucks for a six pack or forty five dollars oh, for a twelve pack man. <laughs> they're kind of pricey <laughs> yeah. but it might be worth it because it's heavy and takes forever to ship so who knows and it tastes delicious yeah and and you can have all their flavors like berry lemonade blue bubble gum cream soda Dr Jones foo foo berry grape green apple orange and cream strawberry lime Zilch Sugar Free Black, Zilch Sugar Free Cola, and Zilch, Zilch Sugar Free <laughs> Vanilla Bean. On there. Just turn. Mm. So it's 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 an, it's really really interesting on there. Okay, so should we start uh, trying our beards? Yeah. Yes. So I'm I'm gonna start out with the Fufu Berry on there because you have a history behind Fufu Berry. So yes, I drank Fufu Berry 
all in college. Like we, um, I bought Joan soda from World Market, but whenever I started going to college, they started selling it in the school bookstore, or maybe they were still selling in the school bookstore. So every day I would go and pick up Fufu Berry, and I would go to class and I'd drink the Fufu Berry. <laughs> Oh, look, crazy, look at this crazy picture. It's I think Are they it's, turtles. I think it's bell peppers cut in half, but it looks like faces. <laughs> they look like turtles with their mouth open. Like ah, on there. So um, I'm gonna try this on there, and uh, you should probably put yourself on the screen instead of me. Uh, okay, fine. Everybody <laughs> just wants to see you. Everybody just wants <laughs> to see you. They don't want to see me. So it's a little bit tart, but a little bit sweet. Yeah. And I try to find out what in the world is fufu berry. <laughs> Good luck. It's a made up berry. It's it is. It's just berry flavor. They they made it up and called it. I just like, the reason why I picked this one is because it's fufu berry and I just like saying fufu. So who knows? Fufu's this could be the blood of little bunny fufu and I would never know. It is. <laughs> But they're not going to tell you that. <laughs> and then what is with all these lids? This is the second one I've gotten is you will soon receive an invitation to a sporting event. Oh, they. They think I'm a jock or something. Your own, your own sporting <laughs> event. Uh, I'm like, um, I'm not that big of a sprots guy. What's yours? Many a false step is made standing still. It's true. So you just got to keep moving. You got to be walking when you're making the decisions. So I'm going to drink strawberry lime soda, which I've never had before, actually. What? That's my favorite one. Really? I kid you not. That is my favorite one out of all of these. This is probably the only one out of the ones that we're drinking that I've never had. Strawberry. I'm never going to live that down. I am seriously never going to live that down. Starberry lime. I, you know what's funny, though? I caught myself writing starberry in the show notes and had to go back and fix it. Oh, I man. actually wrote starberry somewhere. I think it was oh. in a text to you. Oh, man. Or maybe I didn't actually send it to you. <laughs> this isn't bad. This is actually really good. Uh, I can't believe you said that. Okay. And then, all right. What? Well, one more random Jones fact. In 2004... They actually made a turkey and gravy flavor <laughs> they did. soda on there. I got that holiday pack. It came with turkey and dressing, pea, like as in peas, not like urine. Um, <laughs> it came with, uh, oh gosh, Pepto-Bismol, but I think it was called Bismuth or something. Yeah, because like that's what Pepto-Bismol is, is Bismuth. Yeah. And it actually has yeah. turned your tongue black. So don't drink really? it of bismol. Yeah. Like bismuth does? Yeah, it's actually black. But I think the purple is actually coloring. There. Uh, uh, but yeah, it, it, that holiday pack I got for Christmas. I got for Christmas as a gift. And then in a Chinese or Chinese gift exchange, my cousin got it. Not me. So, yeah, not you. <laughs> it's my cousin that lives down in Houston. Um, so I kept mine, um, intact and everything. And what we did with his is the, it came in a big pack with like the five or six different ones. And then the, uh, Pepto-Bismol one came with a little medicine cup. And so we actually used that medicine cup to take shots of all the different flavors <laughs> and they were disgusting, oh. like horrible, except for the Pepto-Bismol because it was a little minty. Now I'm not looking forward to this peanut butter and jelly. I want to try that flavor. I've never tried that one. Now, now I don't. Not looking forward to it. But um, I wanted to mention it because next week is Thanksgiving. How is it already Thanksgiving? Seriously, guys, where's the time going? Oh um, on there, and I, you know, I, I wanted to talk to you about what kind of Thanksgiving meals do you have because we're not gonna have an episode on Thanksgiving, of course. Sure. So you know, like for Thanksgiving, what do you normally have with your families? Because I know you're half Asian. You got to eat some I Asian do, food, right? But no, no bulgogi? No bulgogi. <laughs> no techigogi. No. Um, we usually go and hang out with my dad's side of the family because my mom's side of the family is all in Korea. <laughs> and they're so, like, what's Thanksgiving? <laughs> yeah, they don't celebrate Thanksgiving. So, um, yeah, it's... Uh, 
it kind of differs each year. It used to be because my dad's family is split, like my my grandfather's family and then my grandmother's family. Um, so my grandmother's family, her um, her son, um, so my dad's half brother does not like traditional Thanksgiving food. So even if we have traditional Thanksgiving food, he will stop by McDonald's or Whataburger or <laughs> He will stop somewhere and get a burger <laughs> and eat that during the Thanksgiving meal. And he passed that along to his whole family. Like, he's married and has three kids. All of them are the Ooh. exact same way. And, of course, it's, like, my grandmother and her new husband's son. So they they try to cater to that and make it, like, they'll do brisket one year. Mm, or, brisket. I don't know, like, chicken pot pies or whatever. So... I don't like I, I like being around family during that one. I just I'd rather have I love traditional Thanksgiving food. I love the turkey dressing. My favorite thing is casseroles. Love casseroles. I love all casseroles. My aunt on my grandfather's side makes a hominy casserole. If you've never had hominy before, it's I think it's, it's what like, they make grits out of. I've had hominy before, but it's like not big in casserole horns. shape. But well, it's so good. I'll, I'll be oh. honest with you. I don't need a lot of casserole. I love casserole. That's the white side of uh, your family. I could just, yeah, it is literally <laughs> the white The white half of me loves casserole. It's like butter and milk and all this stuff put together. Uh, On there, uh, I don't know. That, that, that sounds fun. But do you ever get like the old grandpa that comes in? When I was your age, we didn't have these <laughs> newfangled phones. We actually sat around a table and talked to each other. And for fun, we would slap each other with a cold fish. No, I have a... My grandmother tells the same stories all the time. Like, she forgets that she tells us the stories. But she was the first person in our whole line, like our whole family line, to have an iPhone. First person. <laughs> She got it because of like she was she's she was the head of the National Scrabble Association and they said we need to get y'all all phones. So she's like, Can I have the new iPhone? She asked for it and she got it. And we're like, Grandma, how in the world did you get an iPhone? It was just I didn't even ridiculous. know there was a National Scramble <laughs> Scrabble Association. I was I was in the Scrabble Club, the school Scrabble Club, and I got second place in a a tournament. That's interesting. So that Scrabble's cousin has a better vocabulary than me because I say stuff and things. Oh, I don't actually. <laughs> I don't. I just you like knew how to memorize words back in the day. Yeah, I see. I want to be that old grandpa one of these days. You know, when I'm you old, will. I'm gonna be. And you fangled kids and your optic implants. <laughs> back in my day, we had manual input. You know what a keyboard was? And you couldn't just think it. You had to type people. it. Yeah. <laughs> and then there was no holograms either. We had to use this thing called Skype, and it only worked 90% of the time. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> and apparently some guy thinks I'm going to be a grandma. <laughs> so what do y'all What do y'all eat for Thanksgiving? So for me, we uh, it's kind of weird. So when, you know, my mom, we at work, sometimes I give her a turkey for Thanksgiving, so we'll have turkey on there. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, we have some traditional things like, stuffing and corn and you know salad and stuff we'll, you know we'll do that occasionally mostly it's asian food um mm. <laughs> I, I eat asian food uh, oh really surprising That's weird. is that surprising that is so surprising it's yeah. like christmas story <laughs> yeah but do you but, have a duck do you chop the head of the duck off <laughs> Sometimes it's like we've a had Thanksgiving duck. story. So, sometimes we have duck, but you know when we do have turkey, um, you know I'll have everything. But instead of putting gravy on it, I put something called in Cambodian. It's called tuk brahok on there, and probably tuk most of you guys are like, "What in the world is tuk brahok?" It tuk is actually a kind of a Cambodian um, lemon, uh, pepper, anchovy like p fish paste on there, and you just pour it over, it, and it's a little salty. On there, a little tangy, and it's so good. And I think it's better than gravy. I'll even put it on my mashed potatoes if we have mashed potatoes. Hmm. On that, and normally they put it on with steak and stuff on there, but I, I mean, I I love it, and thukbok is amazing. Um, the, yeah, but the paste that they actually had put in there smells really, really bad. 
<laughs> There's a, a lot of little kids. Is it don't, fish paste? It, yeah, it, yeah, it's fish paste, but it's like mud fish paste. So it's like mm -hmm. really concentrated and smelly and it's really salty mm -hmm. too on there. So uh, I know fish smell oh so well. Don't you love it? I love it. I don't know. I, I So one thing that always surprises me is when people try like put lemon on their food. Uh, on their seafood to kind of like hide the mm -hmm. seafood smell and i'll i'll eat fish without any lemon on them like i don't smell anything and my mom there like, is it's um my grandmother used to make full what are they mackerels i can't yeah, remember mackerels oh, mackerels she would fry or uh, pan fry them or whatever pan sear them and you would eat them whole like you would we would serve it to them whole and i went to a mexican restaurant and they had pescado which is fish obviously and so I'm thinking like salmon, like a fillet of salmon. They do, they send it to me full fish, and I hadn't had that since my grandmother was here. Like she moved back to Korea, and then she passed away. So ever since like she, um, she's been here in the states. I have not had fish that way until I went to that Mexican restaurant, yeah. and it was interesting. It and tasted the same too. Did it smell like the ocean? Because I can't taste that. And my mom was no, just like, you, I mean, you've it, probably just been acclimated to the smell. The only annoying <laughs> part is that it's not deboned. So that's the yeah, only annoying you gotta be a little bit part. careful so you don't swallow bone. Um, yeah, because there's little tiny bones in those things. But, oh, oh I love seafood. and I do too. I mean, I'll, I'll take like oyster shots and stuff too. And I love it. And people are like, a lot, yes. you, but I'm like, mm, Oysters. Yummy. We went to um, a Chinese restaurant and I had... Um, I had clams. I had oh, mussels. Oh, I love so scallops. They had scallops orjingo. Are amazing. Orjingo is um, squid. Squid. Oh, squid. We squid. call it orjingo in Korean. So they had squid. <sighs> I'm hungry. I just barely had dinner too. I know. We're eating sugar. <laughs> so. <laughs> on there. All right. So should we try our last ones? I have the peanut butter and jelly. Yes. Try there. your PB and J. Um, and what's interesting though is that this picture is actually in color. You know. You notice that most Jones. Soda is not in yeah. color, and but this Mine's... one is actually surprisingly in color. Huh? Which is crazy. Maybe because it's a special one. Yeah. All right. So here we go. We'll try this, and then which one do you actually have? Berry lemonade. All right. I like the berry lemonade's pretty good. I like all the lemon flavors. I like the color. All right. Here we go. It's whoa, whoa. What? You smell peanut butter? I smell the peanut butter and I smell the jelly too, which is it's like my mind's going like, what's going on here? How can you have a peanut butter tasting soda? <sighs> okay, here we go. I like how you drink it like a baby drinks yeah, a bottle. So much to get lost running for our lives. I don't know what to think. Do you taste the peanut butter? Yeah, I tell you, I taste. It's like a, it's like a peanut butter taste, but it doesn't quite. T you, 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 I'm missing the creaminess from peanut butter, but mm -hmm. you get the hint of peanuts in there, and, and my brain's having <laughs> a hard time yeah. wrapping it around. Because it's carbonated. It. It's carbonated. It's liquid, and it sort of tastes like peanut butter, and then you you get the tinge of grape jelly in there too. <laughs> I want to try that one so um, bad. I like, really wish I could have found it. Like the 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 you know the the first sip I took on it, I was like, "Um, this is weird." And then the second sip I took, I'm like, "I don't know if I like this or not, but I can definitely taste the peanut butter and jelly in this. This is it's really that sounds so interesting. This, oh, so wow. Um, if you guys have one of these, these I think this one came out specifically for the new school year. Um, oh, try okay. it. Um, I don't know if you'll like it or not, but it, it, I have to say that was a <laughs> experience. <laughs> do they make the holiday packs anymore? I don't know if they do. They they make special packs from time to time. So yeah, um, and I know they've had a pie one because I've had the pie one before, but I didn't drink any of them. I just kept it in the holiday pack. And you never. Okay, let's see. Let's look. Excuse me, <laughs> as I burp now. I know I keep <laughs> burping up all my stuff. Who in the right mind thought it was a good idea to do an episode on soda and not burp? Two uh, episodes in a row. But I'm it. very glad Joan Soda has I caps. Oh, I didn't read mine. Don't, don't kill it all, guys. Just Keep run expectations run. reasonable. Reasonable. So, looks like on their website, they're actually sold out of the peanut butter and jelly, but they have a Halloween 8-pack, and it comes with a t-shirt. 
Yeah, those, it's like the booberry. It's blood orange and caramel apples. Oh, caramel apple. They didn't have that one. Usually it's like booberry and I think it's the blood orange. (laughs) So, yeah, that's, I mean, that's super, super interesting on there. But unfortunately, cousin, that is actually the end of our episode because we've tried all our soda. Um, we talked. We've, we've and talked. talked, and talked and I hope you. I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I, I, you know, we'd love to get feedback from you guys, so you can send us an email at nomspodcast at ktdata dot net, or leave it on our Facebook page, facebook dot com slash nomspodcast, or um, on Twitter at nomspodcast for the show, or you can just tweet straight at us. So for cousin, that's at Jane D at, at Jane TV. Jane TV at Jane TV at and for me at KT Data. Data. Cousin confuses me because the first time I met her, she was Jane underscore DS. I was. And then we figured out the DS stands for double screen. like the but You know DS. why I changed though, right? Because I had a Twitter account before I had Jane DS. <laughs> and it was at Pinky Dots. And I realized later that you could um, change your Twitter handle. So I changed my Twitter handle so I could have that older older twitter account and i really wanted i wanted those extra months under my belt because you didn't want pinky dots well i didn't want pinky dots i wanted jane maybe i should change my name to that you should i think (laughs) pinky Pinky dots Dots is now available (laughs) (laughs) on there um or you can find us on uh, the google plus at plus.nomspodcast.net on there um our our next episode is actually i think we've decided right we're gonna do peppermint Peppermint. Dun, dun, dun. It's going to be Christmassy. Yeah. Our first Christmas. <laughs> Yay. So our next show, of course, is going to be December 2nd. Golly. 2014. And hopefully I won't be buried under snow and cousin won't be buried under snow and we'll be there. Yes. And we'll be so fat from Thanksgiving fish. Yes. <laughs> on there. We're gonna Or duck. We're 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 gonna do the entire episode with our cameras on the side. Yes, from the side. Because we're going to be laying down. <laughs> the Jesse will wheelbarrow me in. Well, but hi, welcome to another podcast. <laughs> I have so many turkeys and ducks and casserole. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy. Cousin, do you got anything to pimp before we go? Nope, nothing. All right. Just make sure you guys check out ktdata.net, um, especially the live stream, because I'll be playing Little Big Planet 3. Fairly soon, because yeah. Zach oh, there. He's so cute. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in two weeks. Bye. Bye.